Question number nine, Eugenie Sage. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Climate Change Issues. Will she release updated guidance before this year's general election on the extent of sea level rise which local authorities should plan for? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Ministry for the Environment is still in the process of finalising their updated coastal hazards guidance for councils. It is important that it goes through a thorough process so that councils can make sound planning decisions. And as such, I cannot yet give a date as to when it will be um, ready for release. Supplementary question, Eugenie Sage. Is it appropriate for councils to continue using nine-year-old government guidance to respond to sea level rise, given that this guidance massively underestimates how high sea level is likely to rise? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Well, Mr Speaker, the member's making assumptions as to whether or not it is out of date. It is currently in, um, in date, and we'll be working on that um, when it's ready. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Eugenie Sage. How does she respond to Thames Coromandel District Mayor Sandra Gowdy's question, and I quote, what do you want us to do and where is the money to do it? Mr Speaker. The Mr Speaker. Honourable Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, a good, feisty, intelligent woman who's putting her voice forward and sticking up for her community wants to make a difference and just uh, needs a bit of help as to where to put that, I suppose. Supplementary. Supplementary question. Eugenie Sage. Is the real reason she hasn't released updated guidance to councils on sea level rise this year that National doesn't want to tackle the hard issues in an election year and doesn't want to talk about the real impacts that climate change is having in New Zealand right now? Mr Speaker. Uh, the Honourable Paula Bennett. No. <laughs> Question number 10. Dr David Clark. My question is to the Minister of Health and